Go for a home game to come after a little bit of a break. How much are you looking forward to uh, getting back at Brisbane Road? Can't wait for a couple of reasons. Obviously, first and foremost, we want to get that the defeat against Portsmouth out of our system. Um, in the 18 months that I've been here, we've lost very, very few home games. So we want to we want to correct that. And then obviously, when you when you start a season, you want a home home game as quick as possible to get your momentum and to get the feel good factor around the club pretty quickly. And um, you know, it's been I've not known many seasons where we've had five games and four of them have been away. Some of them really, really long trips. Most of them really, really long trips. So an opportunity now to back-to-back -back home games and, and real set a marker down. A couple of in encouraging performances since that Portsmouth game. Blackpool, the most recent one. What are you hoping to, to build upon from that one? Well, I think continuity. We've not been able to pick the same team twice because of obvious reasons. We've changed systems because we think that is the way to go with the personnel that we have available. Um, but I think one of the biggest things, or the biggest compliments now is, we're, we're looking fitter, we're looking sharper. You know, we played 50 minutes at Wickham where we was a fitter team, we was a, the better team, and we looked like we were the ones who were going to score goals apart from set plays and balls in our box. And then we go away to Blackpool, which is a tough game whenever whenever Blackpool are in League One. But the fact that they're recently relegated from the Championship makes it a an even bigger game and it wasn't a struggle to get a point it's not like the alley moment we've hung on for a, there was a few hairy moments in the last couple of minutes but that's to be expected but it was a really really comfortable point we should have we should have won the game I do believe we should have had a penalty after watching it back um, so that's a good sign um, we need to be careful that you know at the moment if you come around our training ground it doesn't feel like we haven't won in four league games it doesn't feel like we're, we're towards the bottom end of the league and that's fine because some of the performances have been good and um, and we believe that there are better results ahead. But we also can't drift and allow this to go to six, seven games. You know, we're on top of it. We need to make sure that these performance levels now continue to increase. But ultimately, it's about winning, you know, and we need to get a mindset, something that we can control. You know, we can't control winning in terms of going out and trying to win. But what we can control is all the factors that, you have to make up before you win a game of football. So that's what we're trying to we're trying to influence, trying trying to control. Um, and I think we're on the right path. How close do you think we are to that winning performance? Well, I think we should have won at, at Wickham. I think we should have won at Blackpool. So very very close, but them margins are so fine that you need to go the extra mile, the extra little bit. You know, <coughs> there was a couple of times at, at Blackpool where we, if we run that five extra ten yards, we can get on the end of things. We run that five extra ten yards, then a pass can be slid in, and we can run off the back of people. So we need to do more. And we again, I'll, 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 the warning sign for the play: we don't want to drift. We want to get that first win under the belt. But we have seen good signs in the last two weeks. It's Cambridge to come on Saturday, top of the table at the moment. What are you expecting from them? Well, a club that have been through the journey that we're that, that we're going through, a club that was promoted under Mark from from League Two, found League One first season a struggle. You know they've managed to stay up on the last. I think it was on the last day. I remember watching them at Burton away, and you know thinking it was unlucky. And then the end. I think they managed to stay up due to other results on the last day of the season. So, you know, stayed up by the skin of the teeth. A year on, more experience, more belief, more know-how. Um, experience the away grounds more. Experience the atmosphere, um, and with that experience becomes better results. So they start the season off on fire. Very very good. Um, and congratulations to them because they've gone through a journey that we want to go through and um, and we want to do it the right way. We're not going to have your number two, Paul Terry, in the technical area on yeah. Saturday because he's accepted an FA charge. What's the latest with your situation? Well, Paul has begrudgingly admitted the charge because the rules are that you are allowed to go on to see the officials, to shake their hands, to, to, to speak about whatever, but you, what you can't do is question the decision or whatever has gone on in the game. So Paul has gone on and and just asked the referee, and really, I think it's shown in the video footage. It was a really quiet and passive manner, and just asked him why have you played this amount of time when you told us you was going to play this amount of time, and he's received a red card for that, which is which is very very petty. But the fact that he has gone in and questioned them a decision gives him in a court of law, if you like, not a leg to stand on. You know, my red card was preempted and I've got a red card before I've even got to speak to the referee I haven't you know I was going to 46 league games I went on last year and, sp and spoke to the referee and shook his hand F the, all the other games this year Charlton um, 
Wickham, sorry, not Wickham, Blackpool. I've gone on to the end of the game. I've congratulated the officials and 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 said well done. And, and you, we might get them again this season. So the fact that the referee has seen me coming, I'm about to move Jordan Brown out of the way just to shake the, the lines of hand. He's told me get out of my personal space, of which you see me step back again in a non aggressive manner and hold my hands behind behind my back he has then sent me off so I think listen I've been sent off in the past and I'm trying to eat something that I'm very very aware of and trying to improve but I think when I haven't done anything wrong then I think you have to stand your ground and, and fight something that you think is wrong so I'll, I'll do that and just lastly as we said at the start back at home on Saturday what would it mean to you to get that that first win in front of our own fans no it's not about me it's about the supporters and the players um, for the supporters, obviously, to give them that belief. But for the players, I think it's it's a really good one because, you know, the supporters want them to do well. You know, we cla we got clapped off against Wickham like we'd won the game. We got clapped off against Blackpool like we won the game. And um, we were at a club where, from the top downwards, you know, the, the owners of the club, the board of the club, want the players to do the to do well. We, as a staff, want the players to do well, both individually and as a collective. And then the, the owners and the board want myself and all my staff to do well. So um, I think when you're all aligned like that, it's, it's, it's very easy to get success. We've not started with success, but there's good signs to come. So, um, you know, the message to the supporters is... And again, I've received loads of messages on Twitter. I don't reply to them, obviously, because it'll take up too much of my time. But all the messages have been positive. You know, if we continue to play like this, we have external factors which we know about. So if we continue to play like this and get that mindset about winning, okay, get that mindset about playing forward, running forward, asking more questions of the opposition, um, along with our good football, then, um, then we'll be in a good place.